All right, so we back in the bitch. The world is yours. Third quarter. I skipped a little bit of the opening of the third quarter, but just no. Score still what it is. I'm up one. Third and one. I threw with Stevie. Seven and eight for 150 yards with Taysom Hill. I want y'all to know that's big shit. It's fourth and one. I'm going for it because that's that's what kind of player I am. And we're going to get that one because it's just one yard, dog. And guess what? Three, uh, three rushes, 55 yards with Taysom. Not bad. That definitely could have got ugly, but I do a lot of running around extra to make sure that they don't get a good angle on me. But look at that. It was a dot. It's a dot. Taysom throwing dots. Another one. And he coughed it up there, so I'm cautious. At this point, I'm nervous about everything that's going on with Taysom. So we're going to start running with Taysom. Hey, let's let's run with Kamara. He's a running back. Let's let's make sure he's doing his thing. Uh, Troutman, five catches, 92 yards. Got to love it when your tight end shows up for you, even though he's not Watson or Jimmy Graham. He still gets the job done. Look at that. Look at that. Second and three turned into second and two. Third and two. Yeah, one yard. Terrible. Run the same play. Call an audible at the line. Switch it up. Move some pieces around on the chessboard. You know where we're going. Like to my man. He's open. Callaway. Wide open. But Taysom attracts so much attention. Camara attracts so much attention. But we right back at it. Audible at the line, just to make him think, and boom. Put the shoulders down, make him think we're going to do a juke. He goes one way, we just keep going straight. And I don't know if it's with some backs that just aren't as shifty, aren't as quick, but when they wrap them up at the ankles, man, it's hard. It's hard to get away from them. But you changing the play at the line. Looks like my man's open. Looks like my man got another touchdown. Nigga, where your mom at? Nigga, where your mom at? You hear me? Go up field. You got to lead the receiver. Go up field. Possession catch so he doesn't stop and jump to catch it. You got to do all of that. It's all in the buttons. Know your receivers. Know your quarterback. I'm going for it on two-point conversion. Terrible, 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 terrible idea. This is me being greedy. I'm up by seven. I kicked the extra point. I'm up by eight. Puts me in a pretty decent position. I go by two. So that makes me up by nine. But it's the end of the third quarter. A minute left in the third quarter. We got plenty of time to take a little gamble like that to make sure that we're building a lead, a two-score lead, as they would call it. That wasn't the place to do it. And I'm kicking myself in the ass after I failed. Like, damn, you should have threw it. You got greedy. You went to the well one too many times. And then he goes immediately back out to Devontae Freeman because that's been working for him. Neither one of us are changing from our game plan. My game plan was dink and dunk, passes to Kamara, passes to the tight end, and when in trouble, get my shit off with Taysom. He's the same way. Passes to Devontae, passes to Sammy, and when he's in trouble, get his shit off with Lamar. But this here should have been a pick. Should have been a pick. If a Debo isn't out, out of pocket, 10 yards back, 
I can jump that route and I can take advantage. And look at this, Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews running through a herd of people. And when did Mark Andrews get wheels like that? Like, that's the real question. When did Mark Andrews get wheels like that? I'm disgusted. I even cut the replay off because I'm sick watching it. Like, look at this bullshit. But he's going for two again, and this pisses me off because now he's up. And if I just go for the one, we're tied. But now he's up. So now the pressure is back on me. Going into late third, late third quarter, early fourth quarter, the pressure's on me. So not only do I have to score, I got to go for two. Not only do I have to go for two, then I got to turn around and play good defense and shut him down so that he doesn't score and then basically tie it up. Or even go for two to, to win the game. I don't want to lose the game off the last possession. So, guess what? I'm chewing up some of this clock. Run play. Look at the blocking. Look at the quality blocking. And I don't know what up, what's up with Kamara's feet and why he just doesn't have a high step, but damn, that sucks. Damn, that's an ugly play. When the blocking so, sold on your boy, the blocking really sold on your boy. If you've seen my video with the Bengals versus the Ravens, you've seen Joe Mixon abuse the shit out of Queen. And now, Kamara is getting tackled by Queen in the open field. This is trash. But guess what? Kamara out in the flats. Now I got options. My receivers are stacked, should be downfield blocking, uh, but Kenny Stills isn't the best downfield blocker. I get what I can, but guess what? Deep route for Kenny. Camaro the other direction. Make one guy miss. First down. Chew up the clock, stay in bounds. Uh, Kenny Stills goes deep on this route. Camaro's going back left. And boom, Traquan Smith. 13 for 14 with Taysom, by the way. 13 for 14 with Taysom. And look, he had Kamara guarded heavy. He knew, he watched Kamara. He's running parallel with Kamara, standing between Kamara and Taysom. And guess what? We just gonna run it. Kamara's not gonna catch a block because he's an idiot, but whatever. We take what we can get. We got the first down. Wish I could have stayed inbounds, but I also don't want him to fumble. Look at that. Look at Traquan Smith. And I tried to fall at the one yard line, but he fell inbounds. He fell into the end zone. Fuck it, I'll take it. I wasn't gonna waste three minutes of time at the at goal line but we put the points up on the board guess what we doing now we're going for two give us a seven point lead it's not going to win the game for us but now he's in a position where if he wants to win he has to go for two if he wants to go to overtime he's just going to kick the extra point so the pressure is now on him yeah i gotta play defense I haven't got a turnover the whole game. Uh, I got one fumble earlier, but I haven't had like a meaningful turnover the whole game. So now that's my goal. Go out here, go get a turnover. He needs a quick score, uh, but so he doesn't put the ball back in my hands. He probably wants to chew up some clock. So we might see some legit run plays. And here they are, Freeman. Nine yards, ten yards. That's Freeman's second rush. It's the fourth quarter. This is how much this guy's been killing it in the pocket with Lamar today. And then when he gets out the pocket, boom, coughed it up. Hit stick. 
The boy coughed it up, running, open field, got to tuck it in. We were just talking about we didn't have a meaningful turnover. This is great position, great timing, because I can score, I can chew up the clock, I can do everything from this position. Kamara gets lucky, catches it, open field. 15 for 16, 288 yards, four touchdowns from Taysom. Kamara, go ahead and run it. We're going to run it. We're going to chew up the clock. You, this is time management. Oh, he tackled me. Oh, no, he tackled me. Guess what? Don't care. We're going the same play. Two minutes and 28 seconds left. It'll be the two-minute warning. By the time I hike the ball. Tackle me at the one. Two minute warning. If it wasn't third down, I probably would have took a knee just to get the clock running again. So he would burn the timeout. But it's third down. Every down's important. Guess what? We going to run it. Clock's still running, but we made an attempt. I actually wanted to score. But couldn't do it on that down. Got to do it on this one. Fourth and one, up seven. I got to do it on this down. This has to be the play. Risky. Caught the opening. One cut back. Alvin Kamara. Now I'm up 13. Not a big deal. I can go for two. It's a two-score game, no matter how you slice it. But if I get this two, I just feel a lot more comfortable with two minutes left on the clock. So, toss it, catch it, Callaway, back of the end zone, just to let them know. I'm not always going to run it with Taysom. Sometimes I see my guys open and I trust my guys to make those plays. But that turnover, that turnover with Lamar was the game changer. Took all the pressure off of me, put all the pressure on his guys. That was the game changer. He's running out the end zone now because he wants to try and get more than the standard 25 yards on the return from taking the down. But here we are. He's got to. He's got to go deep. He's got to make a play. He's got to do make something happen with Lamar. He's got all the time in the world in the pocket, and in the open field, we're trying so hard to hit him with the hit stick. We miss a couple opportunities, but four rushes, 77 yards from Lamar. It could have been worse. That's all, that's all I know. It could have been worse. But on this play, we got eyes on him. And I want that pick. I'm ball hawking. I'm out here. I'm watching this man. I'm applying a little bit of pressure to Lamar just because I want him to throw it in a rush. But I got to watch the receivers a lot more. And sack lunch, Davenport again. Barely got him. Got him with one of those shoestring tackles that they keep catching Camaro with. And look at this. Another bad position. But somehow he wiggles his way out. Takes the first hit. But the clock's running. Four seconds left. He's not going to get 15 points in four seconds. So it doesn't matter. But. He's going to go for the deep bomb, and I know he's going to go for the deep bomb. <laughs> so now I'm just going to give him cushion. Everybody watch out for the play action, and here we go. A Debo! No fly zone. This is still a no fly zone. I got a pick and two fumbles in this game. No fly zone. GG's. But this whole quit at the end. Don't do that. Play the game, see it through. Don't quit at the end because you took the L. Just take the L. I know you.